Hey everybody, Cardio here. Uh, I just have a quick video for you today. There was a card show in my local mall over the weekend, and it was by far the biggest card show that we've had there in a long, long time. They had 60 tables lined up. Um, you know, typically there they maybe have 20, 15, something like that. So I was really excited. It, it was a good show. I don't typically go and spend a ton on PC stuff at card shows. Um, you know, some of the vendors have really good prices, but you got to be aware of some of the other ones. There's always a couple of people there that, you know, they're trying to make some money off of you and, you know, mark up like base cards to five bucks and stuff like that. It's, it's also hard with, um, faith collecting the Brady's people like to mark up people like Brady or Ben, you know, in my area, Ben, Hans Ward, stuff like that, usually marked way up, but so I usually look for, you know, some really good deals and that's kind of the goal for me. Um, and I was able to grab some good stuff there. So I wanted to show you guys a couple of deals I got. Faith also added some good braids to her book, but she already put those away. Um, you know, she did get a nice Prism 2015 Prism Fireworks die cut Brady. I thought it was really nice and at a good price. Um, some other real cool ones, some optic stuff, you know, just some good additions to her book. But so my first deal... And I saw this at a card show a while back. A guy had a autographed Anthony Munoz jersey. So I wanted to show the name, but the jersey's upside down if I do that. So Beckett certified autographed Anthony Munoz jersey. I like that uh, when I saw it at a show a while ago. Um, so I saw it again. He dropped the price a little bit. So I was like, oh, it looks like a pretty good price. Um, and we were going back and forth a little, and he said that he would give me this autograph jersey, which typically, you know, goes for pretty good, good amount of money online. Um, Anthony Munoz autograph jersey, Beckett certified, and a pack of Illusions hobby for 75 bucks, which I thought was a great deal. Um, you know, a pack of Illusions hobby typically goes for 55, 60 bucks or something like that. So the pack of Illusions, um, it wasn't anything too crazy. Just got an acetate illusionist, Trey Lance rookie, Devontae Smith rookie, numbered Derrick Henry. So, you know, with Illusions Hobby, you basically have a 50-50 chance of getting an auto or a mem card. So I was a little bummed I didn't get a hit. I knew if I didn't get a hit, I'd get something numbered, not too low numbered either, 499, bronze Derrick Henry, then Josh Allen and Carson Wentz on the base. So not, not a crazy pack, but still worth it. I mean, you you do the math on that, you know, I got the, the jersey for like 20 bucks, um, so that was fun, then I also picked this up for a dollar, um, you know, anybody who's a Steeler fan, Ricardo Coakley, he, he was a second round draft pick cornerback, kind of a bust, didn't do a lot, but it's for the Steelers PC, it was a dollar, you know, Coakley autograph rookie out of 200, so, you know, I grabbed it, I don't know if it's even, it's probably not really worth a dollar, but just a nice little add to the PC. But then I found a really nice deal. Uh, the guy, you know, he's really easy to do business with. He had a table of all kinds of cards and he had prices on them. And I threw together a nice stack here and uh, he said seven bucks for the whole stack. I couldn't believe it. So I think it was some nice pickups for seven bucks. We got the white parallel tops chrome. That's 07, I believe. Yep, 07, Heath Miller, numbered out of 869, too. So that's a nice little PC edition. Most of these are for the Steeler PC. Out of 999, Rod Woodson Immortals, 2018 certified. XR, out of 199, Blue Parallel. Trey, Terrell Edmonds, I almost said Trey. Terrell Edmonds, rookie. And I think that's kind of cool. It's it's like an inverted eBay one of one, 43 out of 199. Um, so inverted jersey number, but also it's cool because you know he's kind of the I don't he didn't directly replace Troy, but you know, he's kind of the the future, the guy after Troy. He, you know, he's been there for what four or five years now, and he's been locking it down for a little while. Um, so it's kind of cool too, because it's Troy's number invert of, of his jersey number and it's like you know past present i don't know i thought it was cool though 
Then we got this bad boy, this Toss Finest. Nice shiny chrome with the gold Jerome Bettis. I think that's awesome. It looks really similar to um, like those metal um, gold blasters. I have a raw woods into that. This is an 01 Toss Finest. Very nice. This one's not for the Steeler PC, but I couldn't pass it up, um, especially in this stack for seven bucks. But, um, you know, numbered to $7.99, Michael Turner, SP Exciting rookies. So, you know, Michael Turner, he was really good. There's a little, little ding in it toward the top, but it's a pretty good shape card. You know, I like rookies of anybody that I would consider a legend. Michael Turner, he definitely had his time, especially in Atlanta, so... Fun one, number to seven ninety nine, just to throw in. Unparalleled rookie with the Stardust Roosevelt Knicks. I don't even have a Roosevelt Knicks rookie, so that was a cool, cool find. I know Unparalleled also did the Steelers rookie long snapper a couple years ago, Cameron Canada. I don't have that card. That's a card I'd like to add to the mix too, is just because it's, they're weird, you know, fullback rookie. That's cool. Threw in this uh, little refractor select. That's, you know, Anthony McFarlane rookie card. He hasn't done a ton yet. Um, and, of course, he's he's Najee backup. But I think he has some good potential. Him and Benny Snell look good, you know, sparing Najee this year. So, nice little one. Now this bad boy. It's an 02, I believe. Yep, 02. Hans Ward, Topps Chrome. Um, I love the old Topps Chrome cards. Anything from early 2000s or 90s that's Chrome is super sweet, you know? But O2 Heinz Ward, that's a beautiful card. So add that to the mix. This cool little holographic eye on the prize it says Laser View pre presented by Pinnacle. So Pinnacle eye on the prize, Cordell Stewart with this like kind of holographic Super Bowl ticket type of thing you know it says the super bowl but then if you lean it forward there's like an afc helmet as well a couple things going on there so that's a cool card it's a fun one bud dupree it's a gridiron kings rookie red parallel i like gridiron kings a lot and um you know Steeler rookies that i don't have I like to pick up, especially if they're a good price. But, you know, Bud Dupree, he's you know, he's looking really good with Tennessee. So I think he's got a bright future still, even though he's not in Pittsburgh anymore. But, um, you know, that's a fun pickup just with the red parallel. It's a nice, nice little frame. Gridiron Kings has such a nice look with that. Then we got this with these, this little, like, disco circles. I'm not sure what this parallel is called um, of unparalleled. James Washington rookie card. Pretty nice. Tops Chrome Lev Bell rookie. Tops Chrome Shazir rookie. Like I said too, when I'm buying a big stack like this, and typically they they try and work with you on price and and things like that, I throw in cards like these, um, just because it's it's good to have a lot of rookies of guys who are like Steeler Steeler legends. Um, no matter how their career finished up. I just, I like to add them to the PC or have them to pass down or trade with, whatever. So, Shazir Tops Chrome Rookie. Then lastly, we got this sweet holographic Upper Deck SP. Well, I guess it's SPX, right? Because this looks like an S X, but yeah, SPX, Upper Deck. What year is this? 96, Jerome Bettis. I think that card is so sick. You can see the holograph here is him. Really cool card, though. 96. I mean, that's what I'm saying, too, about, you know, early 2000s or 90s cards with the shine on them. They're really fun. Something different. So I think it's really cool to, you know, it's cool to grab some cards like this, find some cards like this, because that was a little early on, you know, for me. I don't really have a lot of stuff from the early 90s. It's like this. I have a lot of the easier to find stuff. And then I have ones that were more expensive cards that were really important for the PC collection. And this here, you know, isn't necessarily an expensive card, but it's a cool card and not, you know, going to be a super, super common one. So 
That's a fun add to the PC. But that whole stack, including the Michael Turner, seven bucks. You know, I, I think you can't beat it. That's a good price. Um, I would have probably gladly paid 15 to 20 for the stack. Um, that's how many cards, too. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen cards, yes. Yeah, so I, I paid 50 cents a card. I think that's a good deal. Um, you know, I'll definitely take that. Then you add in this card for a dollar. That that kind of changes the price a little bit, but Steeler Rookie Auto, number to 200, was a second round pick. You know, he was on a Super Bowl team. So still a fun addition. And then the Pack of Illusions, obviously didn't quite live up to the hype, but still a nice pack. Got the Derrick Henry numbered card. So I'll take it. Some nice rookies in it too. And then that Anthony Munoz jersey. So I'd say it was a good haul for me. Faith was super excited. Got some really nice Brady's. Like I said, she got fireworks die cut in there. Um, you know, like an optic season ticket um, that she didn't have. So she added that to the mix. And um, just some fun ones to add to our collection. So it was a really good show. Um, if you guys go to any show soon and get any good pickups, you know, let me know. I, I like to see that stuff. I think the best part about car shows is just going and looking around because there's so many weird cards, you know, like like this even. This is just a Sage hit card I got um, in a state sale. But I've never seen these, like, hit with the gold foil before before I picked this up. Um, you know, I, I don't go out of my way to buy a ton of hit. But um, I thought that was a really cool one. It's, it's just the cards like that that you see at a show that, you know, you never see because you don't open a lot of stuff or whatever it, it can spark some interest in some different brands and it's fun to just go look around and see what people have so it was a good time but i hope you guys enjoyed the video just a quick one for you today so all right thanks for tuning in stay ripping